We're glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak. It's great to be alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Kirk and Paul, they're both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And that word education is so important. That's what we set out to do here on the show. And more importantly, that's what the foundation's courses offer you. And we're going to be telling you about these courses that you can get registered for today. This will ensure you have a seat to take in some important information on retirement planning. These are things you have to know to have a successful retirement. It is so imperative here in the 21st century to arm yourself with the truth about retirement and what it takes to have that successful retirement that you worked so hard for. So be listening for that. We do have a great show lined up for you today. We're going to talk a little bit about control. And we're going to dive into that with Kirk and Paul. Want to make sure you have the web address for more information about the foundation. You can always go to retirementplanningedu.org as you listen. And keep in mind, this very show and so many others are in our library. Wherever you find your favorite podcast, we want you to go and find a show that you want to either listen to, share with a friend, re-listen to, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Now, Kirk and Paul, there are so many things in life that are just outside of our control, right? The traffic jam, uh, what the weather's like, our spouse, maybe, but... The- <laughs> well, that's interesting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, married folks are listening right now, nodding up and down. They know, yeah, I can't control my wife, can't control my husband. It's just the truth. But here's the good news. There is some good news here. There are some things that we can control. And in this world today, I think most of us would agree it's pretty chaotic, I want to focus on that with the two of you today. Let's talk about things about the things that we can control, especially as it relates to retiring successfully in this world of chaos we're in. Megan, there is a tremendous amount of chaos going on right now. And frankly, we've had a lot of chaos for a while now. And given recent events, suspect that we're going to continue to have uh, much chaos around geopolitical events, around our politics, around our finances and money. Right. And so I think about someone who is approaching retirement within five to 10 years of retirement or in retirement right now, that chaos can be frightening. And the purpose of today's show, and I I think ultimately the purpose of the charity, the foundation, the Retirement Education Foundation and our courses is to help you gain some control through more knowledge in education. Paul always says knowledge is power, right? And so part of the challenge to gain the knowledge and education that you would need to have to try to stay calm in retirement is it it can be very confusing. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of uh, herd mentality. There's a lot of so-and-so says this, so-and-so says that, this expert says this. Look, go watch CNBC or Bloomberg right now with financial experts or go turn on CNN and Fox News. And I'm telling you, you're going to get inconsistent answers to your questions. So part of the purpose of the charity, part of the purpose of of our eight-hour courses that are taught at most of the major universities in your area is to help give you that filter, that filter and that foundation of knowledge to help you stay calm in the most difficult periods of your life throughout retirement. And to make things even more challenging, you have a financial service industry. The people that's supposed to be making you feel calm and in more control, actually creating more fear and anxiety by telling you you got to protect your principal, worry about outliving your money, worry about inflation. They tell you all the things to worry about, but there no one's giving you the solutions, the planning, the real retirement plans. And that's something we're going to talk about today. What a real retirement plan can provide you so that you can have more control and stay calm during these very difficult times. So we're going to encourage you to sign up for one of our eight-hour courses. We're teaching them at all the major universities, just about all the major universities in your area. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. You know, brother, it's it's interesting. I, re- I remember when I was younger and, you know, for people, who, most people know this, we're brothers, but we have 
we had different fathers. And I remember when I was younger, my dad saying this to me. I remember it was during some war. I mean, there was a lot of chaos at the time. And I remember being nervous and scared and everyone around, you know, and the family was nervous. And I remember him saying, every generation thinks their chaos is the greatest. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's pretty clear there's a lot going on right now in the world. There's a lot going on around us. And whether we're unique or not, we know that the best way to manage chaos that's going on around you is making sure your house is in order. And I, I think that's what, I hope that's what to, we, we get to today. It, at the end of the day, we can't control the craziness around us, whether it's politics or geopolitical conflict or whatever it is, we can't control it. What we can't control is our own home. And it's about having your financial home in order. And I think if you have that, then I think you're somewhat insulated by all of the craziness going on. And, and I think that's the goal of today's show. Paul, I'm confident. I, so, yes, that is our goal. I'm confident for those people who attend the eight-hour classes at the universities or stream them from your home while we're teaching at the universities. One of the things I'm confident is that they will, people will feel far more in control and have a much better understanding on what is going to help them drive success in retirement. For us, when, for the charity, when we're teaching these classes, helping you to better understand why you don't currently have the tools, why the financial service industry isn't giving you the tools to give, give you the freedom to spend without fear and anxiety, no matter what chaos is going around you, is because the less you spend, the more the financial service industry makes. You got to remember that at the end of the day, the less you spend of your money, the more they make because they manage more of your money. And the less time they can spend building real plans for you, the more people they can meet with and sell. So you have to understand why you're not getting this information. And then when you come to the class, the purpose of the class is to give you the tools to be able to filter and find the right people to help you. So if you'd like to attend one of our eight hour courses that are taught at just about all the universities in your area, you can go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Make a $29 donation to charity and you can attend. And we'll return with Kirk and Paul. There's plenty more Retirement Education Hour straight ahead. So glad you've tuned into the Retirement Education Hour today. We're talking about control. What does that have to do with retirement? A lot. We're telling you what you can control in this present world that feels incredibly chaotic uh, in terms of the geopolitical arena, in terms of the markets and finances and what's on the horizon politically. There's a lot going on and a lot that could impact the success or failure of your retirement. So we're talking about the things you can control as you are getting ready for retirement or if you're newly retired. And we're doing that today with financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Both Kirk and Paul are with the Retirement Education Foundation. And this foundation is so critical to your retirement success. They are offering you the chance to get an education about what it takes to retire successfully in these modern times. And it does take a lot. This is not just winging a prayer, right? Uh, you are really needing to sit down and have a strategy, and that takes an education. So we want you there. We want you at these courses that are held at major colleges and universities right there in your community in the state of Michigan, you can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both campuses, Novi and Troy, or Oakland University. And if you're in Missouri today listening, hello to you. You can attend at the University of Missouri or Columbia College. You can go to the website for more information and to get registered at retirementplanningedu.org. Here it is again, retirementplanningedu. Dot O-R-G. You can also pick up the phone and reserve your spot today, 800-240-8981. And for all of you listening in Missouri today, I want you to know that the Retirement Education Foundation, proud partners of Mizzou Athletics. And this very program, you can re-listen, share with a friend, 
You can find it wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Don't forget to subscribe. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour. Now, going back to this conversation, Kirk and Paul, about control, I have to ask you this because what I've noticed is within all of these cycles, right, of peace and upheaval, one thing remains constant, and that is the number one fear of people who are close to retirement or newly retired is running out of money, running out of income in retirement. Why does that tend to be a constant? Well, you would think if you have a fear of, uh, that's something you can control. I mean, there are ways to control whether you outlive your income, whether you outlive your money. These are things that are within the control of people who really are advanced in their ability to plan and strategize around retirement. And so yet, decade after decade after decade, when we have peace, when we are at war, when we have political stability or instability, it doesn't seem to matter. The constant is you have all been conditioned to have this fear, and it's not an accident. We go on these radio airs and go and teach at all these universities regularly and tell you the same thing. The financial service industry does not have any incentive to get you to sp- help you to understand how to spend more of your money. So they've taught you to protect your principal. They've taught you to be fearful of inflation, fearful of taxes, anything they can create fear. They, there's something they'll sell you to temporarily make you feel better. They intentionally do that because the less you spend, the more the financial service industry makes. That's why it's so sad to say that when you all die, statistically speaking, the average person dies with 80% of the, their wealth that they retired with, meaning you're not spending any of your money in retirement. You're protecting your principal, way under spending what you otherwise could be spending. Paul, this is one of this drives me crazy. They know there's there's ways to do advanced planning to help you to take in a more aggressive spend down of your principal. But yet. No one's doing it, and it's because it takes so much more time and time taken away from them selling somebody something new causes them to make less as well. Paul, this is a problem, and this is why we started the charity over 10 years ago, right? I mean, this drives me crazy. No, I I know it does. I know it does, and and for good reason. I mean, I think think what's difficult, it's difficult when we do these shows. It's difficult, you know, in our private practice when we see this, where we know that, that chaos sells, right? It's not surprising. You turn on the TV and, and all you see is chaos and breaking news and, and our industry promotes it. There's it's chaos sells. And I think in our industry, the more anxiety people have, the more fear they have. This is a sad statement, but the more anxiety and fear you all have for your retirement, the less you're going to spend. And sadly, who does that really benefit? It doesn't benefit you. Right, your goal is not to be the wealthiest person when you pass away. It benefits the financial industry, and you know it, it sounds like a conspiracy, but let, but if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. It's self-serving. So, you know, again, the benefit of of, of education. You said this earlier. Knowledge is power. You you have to find a way to tune out all of that noise and really manage your emotions, and and don't look to your advisors you guys, to, to do it because because they're not going to. Well, to be fair, Paul, there are some, not many advisors out there. In fact, that's part of the class is how to interview, find, discover. That's part, I mean, we spend probably about an hour of the class just teaching people to identify whether they are with the right people or to help them go look for the right people through the education we give them. Here's the thing that we can promise is that after eight hours in a classroom, You're going to have less fear, less anxiety. More importantly, you're going to be able to spend more money in retirement because we're going to show you the levers, the tools and levers that you need to focus on so you can have withdrawal rates at 6 or 7 or 8% withdrawal rates in your early and mid-60s. That's double industry standard. That's double what the retirement plans, the e-money, money guide pros, and all those silly softwares that these companies are giving you. That's double what they're going to recommend you take in retirement. Again, because the less you spend, the more they make. So why are they going to go out of their way to build you a plan so that you can sustain? Remember, if you're afraid now, 
this isn't going to change. We have four to seven major market events that you will experience, all of you will experience throughout your 25, 30 year retirement. That is historical data. So what you have to do is be able to have a plan that you do not have to sp- change your spending patterns every time there's a short term market event or geopolitical issue or you don't like who's being elected, right? That's why this eight-hour class is so critical. It gives you the foundation to filter out who can help, what should be incorporated. Maybe next segment we'll tell you, it's not what you invest in that's going to drive your success in retirement. It's actually where you're taking your income from during these times of volatility. So attend one of our eight-hour courses. If you'd like to register, all you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Go to Retirement Planning edu.org that's retirement planning edu.org and we'll return with kirk and paul right after this it's always a pleasure to be in the studio with financial instructors kirk cassidy and dr paul mettler kirk and paul they're with the retirement education foundation you can meet them and other financial instructors with the foundation when you attend the courses we've been telling you about. Now, these are deep dives, almost master's level courses in retirement planning, and they're designed to help you really walk away with more confidence about your retirement situation and your plan for retirement. And we want you to be there. We want you to get a front row seat so you don't miss a thing. And they do fill up quickly, these courses, as you can imagine. They're held at major colleges and universities right there in your own community. And here's how you can make plans to attend. Go to the website. This is going to give you a lot more information on the locations, the dates, the times. You can pick a full one-day course or a two-day course. It's your choice. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. If you're listening today from Missouri, keep in mind that the courses are held at the University of Missouri and Columbia College in Michigan. You can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both campuses there, Novi or Troy, or Oakland University, get registered now. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. We've been having a great conversation here on the show today. Want to get back to that, but want to remind you, you can listen to this show, share it with a spouse, a friend, a neighbor. Simply find it wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Search for the name of the show, Retirement Education Hour, and be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss a thing. All right, Kirk and Paul, One of the things I love about our conversations is that we're talking about retirement, we're talking about finances, but there's often a psychological component that's woven in. And that's because, of course, Dr. Paul Mettler is with us. And Paul, you are a psychologist by training. And this gives us a really great perspective as we talk about our behavior as retirees, as investors, as people who are trying to make our money last There's a lot of behavioral science that actually comes into play. Share some of that with our listeners today. Well, you know, today's topic really is is sort of perfect for this conversation because, you know, Megan, as you've said many times already today, this is about control, right? The world around us feels chaotic. At the end of the day, we can't control the world around us, right? So it's all about what can we control. And listen, the first thing we can control is how we think how we behave, right? That's the, that is really the key to our, to to most success in life, right? It's how do you manage yourself? How do you manage your own psychology, your emotions, how you think about things? And there's no better way, place to do it than in a world that feels so chaotic. So, so really there are just a lot of behavioral, psychological landmines out there that if you could avoid or you can fight against will help you feel more control and sort of manage what's going on. And and, and Kirk, you know, we've had actual shows on behavioral, you know, behavioral economics, but, but, you know, just a few things that popped to my, you know, pop in mind based on what's going on today is, you know, one thing that pops up is this idea of falling prey to the herd mentality. You know, we all have friends, we all have family, we tend, to, we tend to like to be close to the people that think like us and act like us, right? And it's really easy to fall into sort of this herd mentality that 
everyone else around us is worried and concerned and talking about the retirement and how maybe they should go back to work and maybe they need to do something different and, and how bad things are. And it's really important to find a way to tune out, stop listening to all your friends and all the news and really find a way to turn out that herd mentality of just following what everybody else is saying and what everyone else is doing. And so that's just one of them. I, you know, I, Kirk, I know your favorite you love to talk about confirmation bias, right? That's obviously something we have to try to fight against. Talk about that. Well, Paul, you said it. We tend to gravitate to people to be around people that think like us, feel like us, behave like us. We also it, that applies to the news that we listen to or the finance people. If you're a bear, if you think bad things are happening, if you think the U.S. dollar is going to collapse or U.S. <laughs> is going to default, and you start looking up specific negative financial articles, what do you think they're going to feed you? The algorithms tend to feed into that confirmation bias, that bias that you have. And we all gravitate to people who think like us so that we can feel better about ourselves, right? See, that's exactly what I was thinking. Now I know I'm right. And, it, and that is such a mistake, Paul, that herd mentality, that confirmation bias are all dangerous as it applies to retirement, because you are really, if you come to the class, this eight hour course, the, what we're teaching in this course really fights that it fights against that herd mentality and conventional wisdom every step of the way, because you are fighting a machine, a machine of industry that is promoting and leveraging and taking advantage of your fear and anxiety. That's what they're doing. Right. They're manipulating you. So when you then start going against that grain and you see your friends not spending as much, you see your friends having more fear and anxiety about traveling, canceling trips. It's hard to swim against the current. It is. But I'm telling you, that's why 10 years ago, the charity started, of course, to help you swim certain people that are that have enough courage to really spend eight hours to educate and understand what's going to drive success. That is going to give you the courage to swim against the, the grain and, and fight against the herd. Because look, look, our fear for most of the people listening to our show, we know that most of you have somewhere between one and $10 million of investable assets by the time you retire. We know who's listening and we know our biggest fear for you isn't that you're going to outlive your money. It's that you're going to way underspend what you otherwise should be spending. Therefore, you will work longer, spend less, and pay a lot more taxes than you should. If someone just teaches you what to look for, more advanced, customized solutions for you, mapping out income for 30 years. In fact, stick around to the last segment. And we'll walk you through what a real retirement plan should look like and what we're going to teach you in the class. And if you fight against that grain and fight against the herd, you're going to have retirement with a peace of mind. You're going to spend more, pay less taxes, and you're going to have less fear and anxiety every time there's a short-term chaotic event going on around you. So register for one of our eight-hour courses that are taught at most of your universities. To register, just go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And remember, you can stream these classes while we're teaching live at the university if you can't make it out to the universities. Hope to see you there. We'll be back. There's plenty more Retirement Education Hours straight ahead. Great conversation today. We're glad you're a part of it here on the Retirement Education Hour. The world feels pretty chaotic, right? So how do you gain some control? How do you know what you can control as it relates to your retirement? Well, according to Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, who are with me today, there is a lot you can control, which is great news. If you're thinking about retirement or if you're newly retired, and something's just beyond our control. That's okay. We're focusing today on the things that we can actually impact. And I'm glad to have Kirk and Paul here for this discussion. We're going to get back to it. I want to remind you, if you want to re-listen to this show, listen to others in our library, you're welcome to do that. Simply find it wherever you find your favorite podcast. You can download it there. Don't forget to hit subscribe. That way you will not miss an episode. Also want to remind you, if you have not done so already, 
We want you right now to go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Get registered for the foundation's upcoming courses. These are deep dives, really almost like master's level courses on retirement planning. They're held right in your community at major colleges and universities in Michigan. You can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. And in the state of Missouri, you can be sure to attend at the University of Missouri or Columbia College and the Retirement Education Foundation. They are proud partners of Mizzou Athletics. Now, Kirk and Paul, I want to get back to this topic at hand about control. There's this very interesting quote, caught my attention from Jack Bogle, thought I'd put it in front of the two of you to see if it fits into what we're talking about today. Says this, don't look for the needle in the haystack, buy the haystack. Thoughts on that? I I love that quote. So first, full disclosure, I'm a Bogleite. I mean, if you come to our classes I'm convinced after eight hours, you will no longer own actively managed mutual funds ever again. The statistics, numbers, performance, fees, failures is staggering, folks. Staggering. In fact, I'll make a $2,000 donation to whatever charity you want if after coming to our class, you're still going to want to own actively managed mutual funds. Because I I know you won't. That's how confident we know you won't. So I'm a Bogolite. We're in our private practices. We're responsible for over $2 billion. And I'm a big indexer, we believe. I mean, it's not that complicated. So what he's saying is, stop looking for the needle in the haystack just by the haystack, just by the index. In it, in, in, I got to tell you, what's, what's great about that quote is it's really applicable towards retirement. See, you guys are all focused. And the finan- I, I told you guys, if you've been listening to this show, you are fighting a trillion dollar industry of financial services trying to condition you to behave, think, follow the herd like everybody else. So you believe that these people in the financial service industry have some secret algorithm or they have research teams or some ability to stock pick or market time and they don't. The Day Traders Hall of Fame is empty for a reason, okay? It doesn't exist. And if if there was people that were really good at it, there would be a Hall of Fame for it. So I'm telling you, no one can stock pick or market time. Stop wasting your time with your stupid newsletters. Uh, Stop. It's not complicated. All you have to do is buy the index. And so what's going to drive success isn't what you're investing in in retirement. Now hear us. We're going to say this again in People at first won't believe us. Paul will elaborate and then come to the class and you'll understand why. What you invest in, in retirement, is not what's going to drive your success and or your performance, which sounds weird, I know. But remember, when you retire, you're going to be pulling income out of those investments. They're not just sitting there deferring and growing. So what's going to drive success, and Paul, you can elaborate, what's going to drive success is where you pull your money from, your income from, during different market conditions. We have to manage our income sources during times of market volatility. We cannot pull money out of investments that are down. We have to pull money from investments that are flat or up. So we have to have, and we'll talk maybe next segment about the different accounts you need to set up to be able to accomplish this, but you have to have different accounts that you can pivot back and forth from that's what's going to drive your success, and minimizing taxes is what's going to drive your success. I think, Kirk, I think you didn't say it, but I, I think we assume people understand it, is that, you know, we're talking about retirement, right? People need to appreciate there are two phases to your financial life, right? One phase is you're accumulating, and maybe while you're accumulating, growth and success in the market has a bigger impact. We're talking about retirement. We're talking about you paying yourself. You are paying yourself a salary. And your point is, once you start paying yourself, and the data supports it. I mean, the data is overwhelming. It has nothing to do, success has nothing to do with how well you do in the stock market, right? At the end of the day, you don't need to hit a home run. We just need to get on base. When you're taking money out of your accounts, what matters is the accounts you're taking and how how you're taking the money out and ultimately making sure you're not taking 
money out of accounts that are highly volatile. That has much more to do with the success of your retirement than any particular stock or investment or how much growth you have. And, and the numbers are staggering. And we, we get a lot more into this in the class, but the numbers are staggering. Paul, they're overwhelming. We show examples where people have an average 10% rate of return over a 20-year period, and all they do is take out 5% a year, and they run out of money in 17 years. You cannot pull your income from accounts that are down. So you're going to have to have some different kinds of accounts throughout retirement. So if you go to our website, the charity's website, and you go look at a sample plan, you'll see we, there's a 40-minute webinar or 30-minute webinar, whatever it is. And it walks you through what takes us in our private practice. It takes us 50 to 100 hours to build that plan. But you're going to get an idea of first of what we're going to teach in the class, what a real retirement plan looks like. But more importantly, you'll better appreciate that it isn't what you're invested in, but how you're able to go to these different accounts during different market conditions. Therefore, I don't have to reduce my spending during short-term market events. I don't have to change my lifestyle ever. And if I do this right properly, I can withdraw rates of 6 7 8%, which is double industry standards. But you have to be able to, in, someone has to invest the time, 50 plus hours to map this out so that no matter what the market event occurs, where the market's at, no matter what's happening throughout your 25, 30 year retirement, you have an account that you can pivot to to draw your income from. And if you do that, you can take substantially more income. And then if you learn how tax code and where the brackets bump and where to take income from at what times to minimize taxes, now you've changed your retirement. So attend one of these eight-hour courses at all the major universities in your area, just about all of them. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That is retirementplanningedu.org. Back in a moment. There's more with Kirk and Paul. Stay with us. Back with financial instructors, Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. We're glad you're with us. This is the Retirement Education Hour talking today about what you can control when it comes to your retirement. Turns out there's quite a bit, and that's good news for us. If you're thinking about retirement, if you're newly retired, it can feel, well, especially right now, a little chaotic, a little uneasy, and that's pretty normal. But we're letting you know where you can start to make some moves that can have some positive impacts, uh, which is great. So here's what I want you to do next. If you want more on this topic, if you want to really get that deep dive, go a second layer deeper. I want to invite you to go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. This is where you can get registered, claim your seat for the Retirement Education Foundation's courses. These are like master's level courses. They're held at major colleges and universities in your community, and we want to see you there. You can meet financial instructors like Dr. Paul Mettler, Kurt Cassidy, and others, and really understand, walk away with far more confidence about your situation going into retirement. Here's where they're held. In the state of Michigan, you could attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi, or Troy Campus. Those are your Michigan locations. In the state of Missouri, make plans to attend at the University of Missouri or Columbia College. And you can secure your seat right now at Retirement Planning edu.org. And these spots do fill up quickly. So get yours today, retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. You can always listen to this program, many others in our library. You can share with friends as well. Simply find it wherever you download your favorite podcast. Be sure to click subscribe. Search for the name of the show, Retirement Education Hour. Kirk and Paul, heard you say something about income and pivot accounts. Where does this fit into our conversation today about control? Well, okay, so, so control in retirement, part of that is being able to maintain your lifestyle, maintain your income throughout retirement, no matter what the market conditions or geopolitical or politics or, or who's elected, any of the above. It doesn't matter. The goal ought to be like, like when you had a job and every two weeks you got a paycheck. 
and you, no matter what was going on around you, you had a job and you were getting your paycheck. So you still went on vacation. You did your home improvement projects. You did everything you wanted to do. Nothing changed. We are at war. You still had a job. You still were living. We had a politician we didn't like in the White House. You had a job. You still kept living your life. You didn't change your spending patterns. But when you retire, our industry has conned you, honestly, conned you and convinced you to protect your principal and reduce your spending when we have short-term market events. Well, that's not freedom. That is, you have no control then. Zero control. You are controlled by whatever's going on around you, and that's what we're trying to teach you to avoid, okay? And one of the ways we teach this in the class is probably the most critical. It is what will drive your performance and your success and your control in retirement is having different accounts to be able to pull your income from when we have different market conditions. So if we're having a major market event and the market's way down, I have to have an account that I can pivot to that doesn't have exposure to whatever's going on in the markets. Now, now, Paul, to be fair, it used to be stocks and bonds. Bonds were the pivot accounts. Well, if you've been listening to our show since 2016 or 2015 or coming to our classes for the last, since 2015 or 16 is when we started telling everyone the bonds won't be your pivot accounts when interest rates start to rise. So everyone's experiencing that now, right? You have to have different type of accounts. Now, now I should be fair. A really, really, really like a one to three month treasury could be a pivot account. There are many different types of pivot accounts. But if you have these accounts given, if, if you have these accounts to pivot to when we have this market volatility, then you don't have to change your, your, your lifestyle based upon short-term events. You can continue living your life, continue taking your income, and now instead of trying to market time our investments, all we're going to do is market time our income, where we pull our income from. Not change our investments, just change where we pull our income from, Paul. Yeah, you know, it, it, when you think about it, right, while you're working and you're getting a paycheck, right, your paycheck wasn't tied to the stock market. Your paycheck was... In theory, your paycheck wasn't volatile. You, you know, your paycheck didn't, you know, if you, if you got your paycheck every month, you didn't have to worry, oh, my God, maybe I'll get less next month because the market's down. Your paycheck was guaranteed, right? It was, in, in, in essence, a pivot account. You are paying yourself now in retirement, and you need to find a way to mimic the same way you were pe getting paid while working. You got to find a way to mimic that in retirement. And it's all about making sure, right, Kirk? It's all about making sure the money you're taking every month is not coming from accounts that are volatile. You just have to find a way to pay yourself similar to how you got paid. And that's the challenge for most people. Paul, here's the deal, right? So people are thinking, well, that's, this is logical. Why doesn't everyone do that? Right. Because if you go look at, go to a website and look at the sample plan webinar or come to the class and we're going to teach you how to build that, it takes 50 to 100 hours for us, CFPs, CFAs, uh, uh, CPAs, MBAs, to build these plans. We're not exaggerating. Even a little bit, we're not exaggerating. So it takes for a significant amount of time versus what you currently have. Someone will determine your risk. Let's say you're a 60-40 moderate investor. You're going to have all your money in a 60-40 account, and every month they're going to send you your 3 or 4% withdrawals out of that account. That's what you have. That That's... You need to have different risk profiles de depending on when the dollars, the income is needed. So if I'm taking income in the first three years, that's got to be a really low volatility account. Plus, I need to have a pivot account if everything really goes bad. And then years four through seven, that needs to be a different risk profile, another account. And then years eight through 12 or eight through 20 is a whole different account. That should be mostly just the index. That's all it needs to be. And then every year I get closer to needing to spend that money, I'm going to move money from the highest risk to the next least amount of risk and manage that and make sure I'm pulling income from the right accounts when the markets are down or bonds are down. I got to have multiple different pivot accounts. It is, it sounds complicated. It is complicated, and that's why it's almost a master's level course in an eight, eight hours of class, one full Saturday or two evenings, four hours each evening, and why it's also being taught in universities and why we've partnered with the University of Missouri Athletics. If you'd like to register, 
go to retirementplanningedu.org, make a $29 donation to charity. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Back in just a moment, you're listening to the Retirement Education Hour. We're so glad you've joined us for the Retirement Education Hour. I'm here with financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Kirk and Paul, they are with the Retirement Education Foundation. And throughout the show, we've been telling you about the foundation's courses. These are almost like master's level courses on retirement planning. And they're held at major colleges and universities right there in your community. If you're in Michigan today listening, hello to you. Keep in mind that these courses are taught at the University of Michigan. Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. And if you're in Missouri, you can attend at the University of Missouri or Columbia College. Here's how to register. Go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or pick up the phone and call to register 800 240 8981. We're going to get back to our great conversation today with Kirk and Paul about what we can control when it comes to our retirement. I want you to remember that you can listen to this show again or share with a friend. Find it wherever you download your favorite podcasts. Simply search for the name of the show, Retirement Education Hour, and don't forget to click subscribe. Kirk and Paul, control. We want it. We don't always have it. But when it comes to retirement planning, there are some things we really can control. You've outlined that today. But really, this comes down to one thing in particular. And boy, do we have control of this. What is that? It's knowledge, education, information. We can control the information we consume. Honestly, honestly, you can have control of their retirement income financially. They really can have control. And I would define the control by maybe not giving you what you want. We're not suggesting you can have something that's not possible to have because you don't have enough resources to give you maybe what you want. But the control to be able to spend more freely, spend more than the rest of the financial service industry is telling you you can spend, you can have 6 7 8% withdrawal rates, meaning you can retire earlier, spend more, and pay less taxes. You can have that control, the control that allows you not to change your lifestyle or what you plan to do and when you plan to do it. Every time there's something bad going on in our world, in our economics, in our political environment, we can still control what we have to live on every single month and not have to adjust it ever if we have a comprehensive retirement plan that is specifically designed for you with the exact assets you have. Think of a home. Think of you're building a new home for retirement. All of you right now have a bunch of furniture and most of that furniture will likely not fit in your new retirement home. It just won't fit there. So now you need to start by building a retirement home before you start choosing what investments at what times, how to take Social Security, when to take Social Security, if I should take my lump sum pension or take the pension, if I should have any life insurance or no life insurance, if I need insured income or shouldn't have insured income. You can't make any of this decision. Stop buying stuff. Don't let anyone sell you an investment. Stop buying anything until someone builds you in a real specific retirement home, a retirement plan. Paul, that is not a dial of success or a probability of success report. It's not e-money. It's not Money Guide Pro or Right Captain. It's none of this silly software that the financial service industry keeps throwing in your face, telling you to take out 4% a year or less, and your probability of outliving your money is this. That isn't a plan. What's a plan going to map out, Paul? Tell them what it maps out. Let me say this, if you don't mind. So, you know, we talk about things that drive us crazy. This drives me crazy because it's so obvious, right? I mean, if you believe, I mean, this show is all about a storm around us. This show is about the chaos, the uncertainty that's happening everywhere we look. If you believe we're in the middle of the storm, what is the one thing that all of us depend on when you're in a storm? A A GPS. A GPS. 
Yes. Right? You need to know where you're going. Nobody gets into a storm. If you're in the middle of an ocean and there's a storm, I hope you have a GPS. Right? Who doesn't have a GPS when you're in the middle of a storm? How does anybody think they're going to retire in the middle of chaos and think they're going to have any success if they don't plan? Right now, maybe, Kirk, people think they have a plan. Maybe yeah, that's your point. Maybe people are looking at their statements or looking at their beautiful dials thinking, well, I have a good plan. I have a good plan. Well, here's your really? asset allocation, blah, blah, that blah, blah. That is not a plan, you guys. <laughs> it, it, be, be real. That's ridiculous. That's not a plan. That's a software probability. You think you're going to feel good if you have a 20% chance of success and the market's down 40%? You think you're going to really spend the money you want to spend? Of course not. If you want a plan, get educated. We'll teach you what a real plan looks like. Yeah, you can go to our website. You can see what a sample plan looks like. It's a 30, 40 minute webinar just walking you through what a real retirement plan looks like. I'd encourage every one of you listening, start there. Compare that to what you have and you're gonna recognize you don't have a plan. Only 2% of retirees have plans. And by the way, you don't wait to retire to build a plan. You should be building your plan within five to 10 years of retirement. That's when your plan should be built. Now, if you're already retired, well, the next best thing is to build a plan now, right now, right? And so go look at what a plan is. And then when you realize you don't really have a plan, come to the class so we can teach you how to do this, how to understand what that plan is, what we're showing. That's why it's a master's level, almost a master's level course. It's why we are teaching at most of the major universities. We'll do it a full Saturday. We'll give you eight hours. And I trust me, I promise you, most of the people there are attending the courses are highly educated and have a lot of net worth. We know who's listening to the show. Don't think you've got this figured out because you've got $5 million, $8 million saved. You don't. I'm telling you, you don't. You're going to spend way less money than you should. You're going to work longer. You're going to pay a lot more taxes. Come to the eight-hour class. You can even do it in two evenings, four hours each evening, or you can stream it live at home while we're teaching from the universities. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Register at retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. Retirement Education Foundation is a fiscally sponsored program of United Charitable, a registered 501c3 public charity. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is paid for by the Retirement Education Foundation.